Science. Science. Tommy Bartlett Exploratory has been making science fun since it opened in Wisconsin Dells in 1982. Once called Tommy Bartlett's Robot World, visitors were greeted with robot guided tours. They have moved on from the tours, but you can still see the original guides you remember from your past visits. The Exploratory was added the following year and has now grown to feature over 175 scientific exhibits. The interactive displays will entertain, test your skills, and increase your knowledge. Hmm, increase my lifting power, eh? Let's do it. Here I use my tremendous strength to lift a 5,000 pound truck. Actually, I'm using the power of science in the form of a giant lever. As you enter the building, you will see a Jacob's Ladder. With a push of a button, you activate a high voltage traveling arc. Later, you can see another one. As you continue, you will see more displays of electricity. Here Janine uses her powerful thighs to provide lighting to Wisconsin Dells. Many come to see the Bridge of Fire exhibit. The Van de Graaff generator creates static electricity, much like rubbing your feet on the carpet. Or like a balloon and something bad happens. It's a hair-raising experience. Wish I had more to show the principal. If torture's more your thing, challenge your friends to see who lasts the longest on the electric shock machine. I'm pretty sure I outlasted Aaron. The Aurora Borealis, Crackle Tube, and Plasma Ball also demonstrate electric charges. No camera tricks were used in the creation of this video. The illusions you are about to see are unaltered. Though not everything is as it seems, if you see it from a different perspective. Can you see both images here? Watch as the black lines appear to turn into different colors. Stare deep into the spiral. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Come on, we're serving these up on a platter. Play with your shadow by turning it different colors. Or leaving it behind altogether. Other fun optical displays include mores, holograms, and those stereograms popular in the 90s. 
We use the energizer to transport a robot. You can control Andre Android's arms and head. With Jason Robot, you can also control his lights. Then have a fight using the BattleBot's grandparents. Have more competitions with early VR gaming systems. Aaron did poorly. Janine bowled using a soccer ball playing Kick It Pro. Her extreme agility lets her master games like Simon Says and Hyper Strike. Test your balance or learn how pulleys transfer power. You will also sharpen your mind at this museum. Try your skill with brain teasers and multiple puzzles, including tangrams. You can also learn about sound, music, and art. Here Janine showcases her skills on the thongophone. You can also play music with your body in the musical hallway. Dial up a song on a vintage telephone. From music to art, use the sand art display to create designs. Designs can also be made using the giant pin screen. A nearby screen and controls operate the periscope peering outside of the building. Hmm. Don't tell me which buttons I can push. The biggest addition to the Exploratory was added in 1997. Bartlett bought an original Russian space station Mir Core module. This is one of three modules created for the Mir program. The 43 foot long structure was the operational nerve center for the cosmonauts living on the Mir space station. You can step inside the module and view their living conditions. The positioning of the module adds to the experience. Mir was launched from the Soviet Union on February 20th, 1986 as the world's first expandable space station. The unit you are standing in is the 43 foot Command Corps that houses the operations and living rooms of the craft. 
It had everything they needed. Cabins for sleeping and privacy. Tools. Entertainment options. Medical and exercise equipment. This area also houses a replica of the United States' first manned spaceship. The five-year run of the Mercury space capsule paved the way for the moon landing missions. Sit down at a nearby station to simulate controlling the Mars rover. There is also a 1960s era gyro trainer that was used to test the cosmonaut's ability to handle spinning. The final room has additional puzzles, exhibits, and a super cool star walk. Lights and mirrors create the feeling of infinite space. Over time, some displays have gone from futuristic to science history. But the Tommy Bartlett Exploratory is a great way to spend your afternoon. Allow yourself about two hours to go through everything. Check out the gift shop for science-related clothing, toys, and more. Looks like our time has come to an end. Time to like and subscribe.